so hey guys welcome back so in this lecture i am going to explain how you can scan your first maven project and then we will see the reports in the sonar cube server so till now we have set up the maven project we have built the maven project in our local system now we should execute that project through the sonar cube and then we will see the reports in the sonar cube server so first you need to start your sonar cube server on your local so as of now we have set up the local host for the sonar cube so i just started the sonar cube on my screen you can see the sonar cube is operational and here you can see the local host 9000 so here the sonar cube server is up and running now our requirement is that we have the maven project so and this maven project i want to scan and then i want to see the reports over here as of now you can see there is no project set up here so whatever project we will execute through the intelliza id that project should reflect here automatically we have the maven project this is a very simple maven project which we have created in the earlier videos and this is having the src main and the test folder src main java and src test java this is the structure of the maven project which we have created earlier we want to check the quality of this code okay when we are writing the code we just want to check the quality of that code which we have written i have the basic dependency and the properties and the plugins added in my pom.xml file you can see that we have the project name artifact id this is my project name so when i execute this project the name will reflect test sonar cube as it is and after that we have the compiler and we have the maven compiler first you need to check the your project is completely built successfully if you have any error in your pom.xml file in your project first remove that error and after that once you build the project then we will start scanning the project okay so now build is successful now i want to scan this project through the maven command here you can see this maven is there so here you can see the terminal is there if you see this is the terminal this symbol is the terminal we need to start this terminal okay so i'm just going to i'm just going to click on this terminal so under this terminal you need to type the command so what is the command mvn sonar colon sonar when you type this command let's see the result so i just hit the enter okay so we got some error so build failure is there now what is the error when you are doing the first time definitely you will get this error so how to resolve this error i'm going to show you in this video so let's fail to execute the goal so now i want to see the error not authorized i am not authorized to execute this one so now if you are running if you are scanning your project you need to tell where your sonar cube server is up and running and what is the credentials for that we didn't set up anywhere we we don't know what is the sonar cube server and what is the credentials for that okay by default it will run on the local host but we need the credentials so that we can log in to the local host 9000 so how we can resolve this error so to resolve this error first you can go to the sonar cube server then you can see the user and under the user you can see the my account under the my account you need to go to the security and there you have the two options first you can generate the token second you can enter the new password okay and if you see the profile this is your login credential so login is the admin and new password when you you should remember the password when you first time going to login so by default it was the admin admin but uh, once you set up the new password you should remember the password to login to this local host server okay so now first let me show you with the login dot password so now i'm going to set up with the login dot password so now the username is my admin okay now how can i add this one so i will go to this my pom.xml file 
in the pom.xml file you need to go to under the property section so this is your property section you can go to under the property sections under the property section okay you need to type sonar.login you need to type sonar.login close it will give you the login so our login is the admin now you need to specify the password over here so we will specify the password so our password is sonar.password you need to add these things so my password is admin at the rate 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is the my password so your password should be like that so whatever password you set up when you are first time set up the sonar cube server you should remember that password now we have added the login and the password you just save the pom.xml file now again go to the pom.pom file and under there you have the terminal so you just click on the terminal and again run the sonar colon sonar now let's see the output so now we have set up the authorization for this project okay so what it will do it will take the authorization then it will go to the local host and then it will give the report so now it's scanning the project okay so whatever code i have it is going to scan the project i'm not going to find the coverage report i'm just checking the code quality re report here the coverage report we will cover in the next videos but here i'm just checking the quality code quality the code quality means the sonar cube will give you some error and exceptions or vulnerabilities and the hot spot that you can follow and you can fix it all right so it is scanning your whatever code you have written in your project so main.java test sonar.java so this will be the easy now the build is successful now it is giving the analysis is successful you can see here the analysis is successful okay so analysis is successful now you can find the result at this location so you can directly go to this location by clicking on this link so when you click on this link you can directly go to this link and if so you need to go to the under the projects so you can see the test on rq project is there now it will give the reports for that so you need to refresh it one time and after that you can see the reports over there and if you don't want to go directly you just come to the sonar cube server go to the project and you just refresh the project and you will see the project is published here so we executed through the IntelliJ id with the maven command what is the maven command mvn sonar colon sonar and after that we can see the project here now here you can check the security reliability maintainability so all the open issues are there okay accepted issues security out spot everything is there so if you want to analyze this one you can click the number of the issues so now it is showing giving the rules okay rename this package to the match the regular expression now how the developer will fix it the developer will come and see all the code quality issues and according to that it will fix the code in the IntelliJ ID so here it will provide the fixes for that so whatever it is showing so you can see rename the package to the match the regular expressions you can see that if you want to open okay and if you want to accept it you just accept the issue and you just mention that this is the accept okay and if you when you have resolved this issue you can type the we have resolved this issue so your issue will be accepted okay and then replace the type specification so you can follow these issues whatever mentioned here under the issue sections and accordingly you can provide the fixes as a developer and after that you just commit the code and then again you can perform the same scanning and that time it should not get any scanning issue